I cannot believe I'm getting so emotional about delinquent fighting. Something about Togami's backstory, about how Choji used to be the son and everything was so good and then everything went bad as soon as Choji started to go crazy and started to be mean. I'm like, damn, I feel it for Shishitoden now, bro. What happened? Part of me actually doesn't even want Sakura to win. This motherfucker needs to be humbled. I hope Togami curb stomps him and fucking humbles him. But if he, I, I, I feel like Togami is gonna win, right? Togami is probably, sorry, Togami is probably gonna lose. Sakura is probably gonna do some main character shit. He'll probably do some talk no jutsu, and then Togami will go down, and then Choji will probably. I don't. I wonder what Choji will do if Togami loses. Will he do the same shit of hey anybody? Can someone fucking grab that guy and toss him off the stage, or will he actually think about? the rules being implemented and think like is this really the way to go i'm not really sure but hey let's begin today's reaction he had an entire flashback bro i feel confusion from his fist the conversation remember they're having a conversation right now maybe he wants to get punished Okay, that shit was so funny when these two got fucked up. <laughs> this kid just can't catch a fucking break. And the person on the left that Ryuin wanna be, bro, I mean, it is actually Ryuin's voice out there. He got one shot and then got thrown off the stage, and then his own senpai fucked him up even after that. Dude. <laughs> Might be the unluckiest guy so far. Are we gonna have more conversations today? Does he want to lose? Like, like, does does he want to lose? A part of him just kind of given up. He just kind of wants to lose so that, you know, Choji will also lose against Umemiya. And then by then, maybe he'll realize what's been wrong the entire time. And I... Where are we going with this? Right, he was doing all the, you know, the dirty jobs behind the scenes. What is this beautiful soundtrack, dude? I thought he would I think bro's realizing that everything has just been so fucked. <sighs> Wonder what Choji's thinking with those, you know, empty eyes. What does it mean to be Shishitoren? <laughs> Make you feel bad so I can win? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cameraman, chill! Huh? <laughs> we got another schizo. We got another schizo in the group, guys. I want to head to the mountains. Wind blows. But there's got to be something very uh, philosoph philosophical deep here. So basically what I'm getting so far, other than the schizo comment here, is... Bro... Decided to do all the dirty shit in order for Choji's hand to be cleared, right? Because that's the whole the backstory was, right? If we're going down this distance, then I'll be the villain in order for us to kind of keep going. He's realizing what have I been really doing, right? Last episode, he got confronted about all the shitty things they've been doing. And then he realized, oh shit, what have I been doing? But now it's just like, I've gone too far. I can't turn back. But maybe there is peace. In the fucking mountains. I don't know, maybe Choji and, you know, to Togame used to hike together. Maybe Togame fucking carried huh? Choji on his back while they're hiking. That's why he wants to go to the mountains. He's not a scumbag. First person, I think. Well, one of the first people that he actually acknowledges is strong. Okay, Togame. I like this. I like this. 
part of me actually wants Togami to win. But if the main character Sakura is going to be kind of placed into a position where he's like, you know what, I'm going to beat some fucking sense into you so that you get out of this depressed emo phase and then get back to who you really were and then we can have an awesome fight, I can get behind that. <laughs> oh, glasses! Oh my! I'll fuck him up! That's a lot of main character lines. And backstory! He triggers so many fucking generic main character lines here. That Togami got triggered into another fucking flashback. Alright, which one is this one? This is when he took off the jackets for the first time, right? When he started to impose his ideals on the others. That's a tear! He's crying! Is that Yaoi toe service? So please, smile. Oh! Okay, we're back. And now he will try. Oh shit! The shoes are off! Oh fuck. He's going, he's going to actually try now. Bro, ready, dude. Hair is down. Shoes off. Assume position. Even smiling. Sakura pretty much just did what he said he was going to do, right? I'm going to beat your ass until you get it back together so you can be the awesome person that I want to fight. Now, I want Togame to fucking win. I want Togame to body Sakura, too. <laughs> Imagine just, it's not just me that I want to see this motherfucker be humbled. I don't know. I like Sakura to me. Feels like a very static character that I don't care about right now. This entire arc has been like heavily just Shishitoden and all their problems. And ever since Togami Flashback came in, I want to root for this dude, bro. Sakura just doesn't feel like a character that's important right now. He just kind of exists as a strong guy to kind of like have character development for Shishitoden characters, right? <laughs> Unless he's going to have a flashback soon. <laughs> Oh. Yo, these hits are just so snappy. They all just have infinite HP. Like, no guarding, just taking hits, smiling. Ooh. The fight choreography isn't actually better than solo level. Like, I think it might be, man. How crisp the fight animation is. He's crying. <laughs> Bro is the fucking audience right now. He was totally feeling for Togami. I mean, if these two are saying such, you know, good words for Sakura, and even, you know, Mad Dog here is giving the, of like, disapproval, but also acknowledging, like, yeah, he must be legit. I mean, the Sakura glaze right now is crazy. What does Choji think? Gay. <laughs> Makes his heart go Doki Doki. Sakura. Oh, he said my name. <laughs> this no one call me by my friend. Gay. Choji upset right now. Choji's looking at this with blank eyes because he's like, this motherfucker just called this dude by his first name. What the fuck, yo? I thought it's me and you, bro. I thought we're the Yaoi ship. Why the fuck you cheating on me with Sakura right now, bro? <laughs> Sheesh, indeed. <laughs> oh! Oh! Barefoot to the face is crazy. Baref I see why he took off the sandals. <laughs> so that it'd be even more sexual, bro. Foot to the face? That's crazy. And it's not even They both did it together while Sakura still has his shoes on, right? Take a little sniff. Who wins? Tie? Maybe it's a tie. 
Shishi Torin has lost every battle so far. If if Sakura actually wins here, this is gonna be like a 4-0. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he's gonna say you won while laughing. Wait, it's not over yet. Oh, okay, okay. Who's gonna win? Oh my god, he said his name again. That's right. Choji Togami? Oh, this isn't what happened, but this is what should have happened. And now he just realizing it was Sakura. If this happened, then maybe things wouldn't be so bad. Oh. Dude, these fights are literally fucking therapy sessions. Sakura. Oh no, it didn't land! Sakura. He's not dying, but the salute! Togami should have won, man! Togami should have won! What a fight, man. What a fucking fight. I feel like at the end there, it was kind of obscure. A couple things. I mean, in terms of power scaling, the author, I'm sure, is kind of making a bit ambiguous on what's going on. Because even with the kick before, he took off his, like, shoes. And obviously, if he took off the shoes, I bet if he had the shoes on and the kick landed, it would have done more damage, right? So there's also that nerf part. But also here, I feel like the fist got released intentionally after this monologue because... Whoever wins this fight, I don't think really matters to Togami. Togami is just like realizing all the things that he's made a mistake and learning from everything Sakura is saying, you know, don't revert your eyes and don't change and be yourself and blah, blah, blah. So he's like, you know what? I feel like it's fine for me to release my fist and admit defeat. I, I think that is what's happening right now, or at least that's my head cannon. Even this give up, you know, thing sounds so fake, right? The last fight is left. Umemiya versus Choji, right? <laughs> Umemiya, what you think? He knows. He knows this is a fucking Mickey Mouse fight right now. He knows this is a fraudulent win. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I hope something bad happens now. Oh, I feel like just because Togami got up and he's telling Choji to stop it. Uh-oh. 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 Don't touch me, you're weak. Oh, no! My man, how could you do this? Mm, gotta take this kid's fucking head off and correct him, bro. Oh my fucking god, he made me mad. Not my goat Togami, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. People have been commenting in the comment section last episode, right? People have been commenting is like, oh, you got a little teary-eyed for, you know, Togami's backstory? Wait till you see Choji's backstory. Really? Is Choji's pastor really gonna excuse what just happened? Maybe. Maybe. Punch him. Sakura, do it. Ah. I have faith that our captain will deliver justice. Nah, let Umemiya cook. Really would have loved for that punch to go through. That's right. The fact that he got upset for Togame there. He's right. Togame mo. Surprised he's not knocked out Cole after that kick, bro. Don't die to who? Choji or Sakura or Umemiya? Alright, bet. I don't, I don't think he's gonna lose, though. 
That kick, dude. Because we had a conversation, because you saw the flashbacks with us. That's crazy. How much, like, Togami showed up and everyone thought he was a fucking asshole, right? And then just a couple flashbacks and we're all like, Oh my god, how could this be, bro? These gay-ass flashbacks, man. It's getting to me. It's fucking getting to me, man. Oh, his name is Nire? Honestly, I don't even know. Getting kicked? Oh, you mean the give up part? <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a blush right there. Can you see the blush? I saw the blush. I can't wait for this fucking pip squeak to get fucked up. Holy shit. He is just so fucking annoying. But like, I'm sure he has his reasons, right? It's just him being so evil. So just like absolute evil while having this like... This goofy little like childish like persona is is just like, the worst combination in making someone upset. But I'm sure he has his reasons, right? We gotta let his flashback cook, and then I'm gonna be crying for his ass just like Togami. I hope maybe a one shot him. Nothing. Nothing, huh? Well, time for him to correct him. It's raining. Right now. Right now it's raining, huh? Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, that panel was pretty cold. That okay, I thought the rain was gonna add in a little flavor for Umemiya. It did, but like, okay, the the lightning strike with Choji's eye like that. I, I do like that kind of you know scenes, and I bet in the manga panel it was even better. Yeah. <laughs> Your entire mantra is devotion for power. You're a terrible leader. You never even calling y'all weak trash the entire fucking time. You really thought that you were on his side? That's the thing, right? Choji's pursuit of power will never have him smiling like Umemiya does because they just operate under such different philosophies. Umemiya is all about community building, right? Helping people out, thriving and growing together. While Choji can only think of like individualism and only, you know, pursuit of strength and nothing else matters. It's like you were wrong from the beginning. That's why you can never smile. He would straight up feel even more empty. <laughs> It's so sad how he keeps chasing after freedom, but that pursuit is the prison that he set upon himself. He literally locked himself up in a jail cell and can't get free because of the shitty mentality. I don't think so. He's like a fucking jockey from Left 4 Dead Just gets on top of you and starts beating you up like that What the fuck A lot of hand holding right now A lot of hand locking Kind of lewd No He does fight Really interesting Huh. He's, he's mad that he didn't really win properly against Togame and he got stopped by Choji. So he's never satisfied. I mean, that's a great trait to have for a main character. <laughs> Dude, this kid is so nimble. You had it rough. What a shoulda, coulda. Whoa! Oh, okay, he did that thing again. He did that thing again. Remember the first time Umi showed up? It was like this blue fucking aura. It's like, what the fuck? So this is what happens when Umi gets serious for a little bit, huh? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Oh 
The wind pressure. The wind pressure alone, bro, made him bleed. No shot. It didn't land, though. Yeah. I'll win. Oh, nah, I'd win. Nah, I wouldn't lose. And cliffhanger? What a fucking episode. Is there a post credit scene? I don't think there is, right? Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Yo, the Ume hype has been crazy because, like, obviously he is the number one of Bofrin, and we haven't seen him fight yet. And all we've seen him is like a pacifist, and people are probably questioning, "What the fuck? Like, how, how are we gonna get like? Um, how would we take a pacifist seriously? He just seems like someone like, like a pushover that does gardening, but that was very intentionally set up for the gap moe scenes like this. When he gets actually fucking serious, and you're like, "Oh my god, it's even more hype." Nah, I wouldn't lose, man. I, I trust him. I believe it. And I think there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye. Because like Ume says something of like, you've had it rough. He's kind of alluding to Choji's past. And I'm sure we're going to get over that in the next episode with the flashback. And we're going to feel even worse for Choji. It'll be interesting. It'll be hard to beat Togami's flashback. Because like, I find it hard to like, I don't know. There's no way this is going to be sadder in Togami's flashback because he did it for Choji. But if to Choji does have a sad flashback too, then you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll pour one tear out too. The other fight, you know, with Togami and Sakura, I wish that Togami would have won. And I think that it's heavily implied that Togami should have won. But this was not really about like a 1v1 to see who's stronger. It was more of a therapy session because, you know, a fight is a conversation. And Togami realizing all the things that he did wrong and the way that he could have done better with Sakura's words made him realize that, you know what, maybe I deserve to lose. Even if he was not fully done, I think that's what the show was trying to tell us. And even Sakura, like, you know, acknowledges like, damn, back then, if I could actually, you know, win or like even against Choji too, right? There's some regrets there. So the power scaling is left a little little bit ambiguous but Sakura you know what credits to him right he's pretty fucking strong now next episode Umemiya Choji hopefully it's not gonna be like them fighting for 10 seconds and the rest is just Choji flashback hopefully we get a lot more to it than that but I have a feeling like this is gonna be like a two episode thing maybe it'll get resolved in one episode but that's it from me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care